Zion, we move. If you're meeting me for the very first time because I get the engagement of new people coming to my page, my name is Zion Fesson. They call me MC Hallelujah. If you know, I'm the one bringing you all the stories, especially when it comes to social media. I have a wonderful sister here with me that is coming from somewhere that you need to know. And I want to ask her a few questions. The reason why I want to ask her this question is because of a lot of you, I know I use this word RNG because people that do say RNG Thomas, and most people that don't believe in Evangelical Bukano ZOB, the spirit that is moving with him, and also those people that think Zion Prayer Movement Atrish is in court RNG. So I want you to meet somebody that you really need to hear what she has to say. My name is Mrs. Mildred Ibebo. I live in German town, Tennessee. I've given up on churches a long time ago. I was born Catholic. I don't go to Catholic anymore. I started going to Pentecostal. And I, my mom used to be the uh, head of the block rosary in my place. But um, uh, after a while, all of us uh, left uh, the Catholic church, you know, left. I don't even pray the rosary. But when I made contact with um, 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 Papa or, or on, 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 online, everything he was teaching is like it's from God. So I started to follow him and then um, I just see him as, as I, feel like, I feel like Christ is in this man. Christ himself. I know we're all Christians, so we have Christ so, in us. Is this your first time seeing him in person? Yes. So this is your first time? I flew from the US to see if I can touch the Zion ground. Wow. And luckily for me, I was able to um, uh, meet him. How did you feel when you met Evander Chukwebuka? What also gave you that confidence that this man is a man of God without doubt? When you hear him preach, I don't know about that people, but so many things I knew about life that I, I couldn't pinpoint. When he talks about them, like, for example, uh, a man being unfaithful is wrong, but a woman being unfaithful is higher, is a big sin. It's like that man has crossed up through your bedroom. Your children, your husband, yourself, all of you becomes like nothing. So everything he's teaching is so, uh, is, is so from, from, from God. So You can feel that. Uh, so I want to ask you, you know, you fleeing from US to Nigeria. Are you sure somebody did not arrange this conversation with you to come to Zion Prayer Movement to do this RNG? My brother, I read online too. I answer them online when they talk about our Father in the, in the Lord. This man is, like I told you, I believe that Christ lives in him. Mm. Not, just, not just dwelling as, you know, I believe that Christ, because there was a time I was watching, I was trying to do the, because since I met him, since, since I started following the Zion, I go to morning mass now, okay? I go to, I took my kids, every, all of us, we go to Catholic church back again. So there was a time, during this 21 day fasting, okay? 21 days fasting, I used to, I started going to the morning mass, then I start my, my uh, fasting. One of the days I went to the church and it, it, it snowed. So there was no church that uh, morning. Then I opened my divine mercy and I saw a brother, the other brother, he was saying, pray for uh, pastor, pray for evangelist uh, Ebuka. And when he said that, I was mortified. I just, I was, full, I was full of tears and I said, what happened to Papa? Why would I have to pray for Papa? So immediately I went online and I wrote a letter to God. I said, dear God, if this is a joke, stop it. I said, Father, I know I'm your daughter and I'm nobody. But you see, uh, if I say Buka, don't let anything happen to him. If anything happens to him, me personally, I'm done for. I don't even need I can make the sign of the cross again. So, in a quick one, yes. a lot of people online are hitting on Evangelical Ebuka and Oziobi. Yes. A lot of them are, you know, saying he is a is a fake prophet. That's a lie. A lot of them are saying he does arrange. No. Now, I want you to look to this camera. Yes. Sincerely from your heart, yes. looking at you. Yes. Now, the Bible says, test the spirit, you shall know them. Yes. Now, I believe you've seen Evangelical Ebukano Zobi today. What message do you have for those people that are saying this online? What I want to say to these people is, beware. 
God cannot be mocked. Anybody who is honest to themselves and watch this man online or even come to his ministry, you will know that he is, he is full of, is, that God is in him. What I say is Christ lives in this man and the, uh, it looks like Christ came through this man to prepare us for the last, for his, for his final coming. So that's my strong belief. So if you are talking about Evangelist Ebuka, our, our papa, I am asking you to beware because you will be punished. God, you know the truth. So anybody who is talking anything about this, about, uh, um, this man, you know you are lying. He cannot arrange all these things. People in the hotel I'm staying, other people came to from, from California, all, all, over the, all over the world. They are lodged there just to see this man. So, of course, he's real. And Christ is in him. If you know Christ, you will know him. They say by, by, by their fruits, we know them. So if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're a Christian, you will know that this man is from God himself. So, uh, please, I'm going to round up with this. How did you feel when, I saw when him, you saw him? Something went to, um, I, had to I, I had to touch his feet, and I'm so blessed. My hand has touched. Oh God, my hand yeah. has touched his feet. She was crying. So I saw her. She was I'm crying. So so if, if you want to watch her, when I'm Papa so met her, I'm go so and watch blessed. my live video. You're going to see her there. I touch his feet. I could touch him and feel him. I'm so, I'm so happy. So are you going to wash your hand today? Are you going to wash it? You won't wash the hand. <laughs> All right, okay, let's talk, bro. Let's talk. Thank you very much, madam. I'm really grateful for your time. And I'm proud to have you as a sister. And I'm proud to have you as a Zionite. Yes, keep your hand. Keep your hand. Yeah, let's, let, let's take that again. She said she doesn't want to shake. Let's, let's take that again. Good. So those people who say negative things, and I respond to them too. Okay. And I see you online. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much for your time. For you that are Thomas, you that is a doubter, you that have a lot of things we call doubting spirit. <laughs> Hey, you are in trouble. I am not a typical <laughs> hey, uh, church person. Yeah. I'm not a typical church person. But when I met, when I read, when, when I started following this, this man online, I could see that Christ is in heaven.